So in this section, we're going to talk about how do we solve the problem of uh, knife crime. And we're joined by a guest, uh, Zach Hussein, who's a youth work, local youth worker, and is quite well known in social media. But hopefully today you'll be, be well behaved, Zach. Um, and I've had the opportunity of sort of working in various boroughs, um, boroughs in London, but also abroad as well. I had the pleasure of doing youth work in Switzerland, South Africa, the Czech Republic. Um, I'm currently running my own consultancy and I'm working with the government quite closely to support change from the lockdown and COVID and how the youth sector has had to develop over the last year or so, including digital youth work. Um, I myself am a product of youth work. Um, my youth worker, Shabu, is still within the service here in Tower Hamlets, and I'm someone that has had experiences of growing up in Tower Hamlets, but the youth centre that I used to go to, um, Link Centre in Bromley by Bow, and also the Arbor Youth Centre, which I um, had the luxury of sort of managing once I'd sort of got myself into a formal career. Um, was a testament to the willingness of the staff and also the commitment to young people in order for people like myself to achieve and succeed. Um, I'm here today to talk about a topic which is quite close to my heart. Um, I also have a relative who sadly passed away um, about seven years ago through knife crime um, on the island. It was a big, big case. Uh, my cousin, he was fledging to sort of be the young mayor at the time, but sadly lost his life um, in a dispute between two neighbours. Um, and I'm here today to hopefully talk about what we can do as a community to support young people growing through this period of, you know, living in 2021 post-COVID and also what responsibility that the council and other authorities can put in place in regards to measures to support young people, to stop them from going down the wrong tracks, to support families with their children, but also to give young people a voice in what provisions are there for them in order to achieve outside of school as well. Um, so that's a bit about me. Um, outside the show about a different approach to knife crime, which which puts it, which includes a different approach to how we engage with young people in the borough. Uh, so, like a public health approach. Do you want to talk about that? Um, uh, uh, this kind of thinking that you had and the kind of like campaign you're thinking of doing together, both of us. So. Glasgow is very famous in terms of the, the approach that they've taken in terms of um, something called a violence reduction unit. And they basically decided to treat their violence um, through a sort of kind of public health. They basically treated it as a public health emergency issue. And the argument being is basically young kids are stabbing each other and therefore uh, it's a health issue. It's not an ASV issue. It's not a crime issue. It's a health issue. So and one of the practical points is we have also got a lot of money uh, in the in the health budget. So Tower Hamlets Council has a public health department. It's got about 40 staff um, and a budget of 35 million pounds. And, and I'm pretty sure very little of that is actually spent on keeping kids safe from, from knives. And therefore, so there's a practical point is that this is the right solution, but also it means there's a pot of money that's available that might be used to supplement. So in terms of the practical things that we're working on, and the reason why I was looking at my, my screen a bit uh, while Zach was was talking is because actually I was writing down some of the things that he was saying and what we're doing is that we're working on this draft document um, and we'll present it first as a petition but before we, we launch this petition we're going to advertise it on social media as a draft uh, and basically ask for your input your ideas are these the right things to be asking the council to do should we be adding things so the first stage of this is to basically consult you on on that petition and as I said I was writing ideas down from Zach. And then we'll put it on the council website. We'll ask you to sign that petition once we've agreed it. We've then got a council meeting in, in July on the 21st. So we'll try and debate this issue there. We've also got on the 29th of June, so actually it's not that far away, uh, we've got the Health and Wellbeing Board. And the Health and Wellbeing Board is basically where Tower Hamlets Council, the HS, and other stakeholder organisations come together to talk about health issues. Um, that body inevitably has spent most of the last year talking about COVID, but we think it needs to start talking about actually how we keep young children safe, uh, and that includes from from knives. So that's very roughly the the plan that we've we've got is a kind of asking what you think, and then uh, doing a petition, and then basically going back to these two council meetings in June and July to try and encourage the council to be.